G'day guys, um, this is a little project I'm working on at the moment. I want to get it on the road for myself. So I haven't actually done anything to it yet. It does run and ride. Um, goes quite well, but does have some of its inherent issues. So I got bought it about a week and a half ago at a farm clearing sale. Paid too much for it, but here it is. It's a Honda CT110 1980 model. Um, single range gearbox on it. It's never been on the road registered. But um, it's got compliance plate and everything it needs doing, so. Um, 9,433 kilometers. So, today I just want to get it washed up and sort of get a list together of the parts I need to buy for it. So let's get going. I've only given it sort of a rough wash. Um, what I want to do is there's a couple of problems I want to fix straight away and then take it for a good run on a mate's farm just to see things like where the oil's leaking from. It's got a few oil leaks but can't determine where they're coming out of yet. Um, just because it was caked on so thick. So um, there's a couple of things I've got to fix before I go anywhere on it is this gear lever the inside of it's um, shredded because someone um, left the bolt loose on it, but I think the shaft in the engine's all right. Um, the front brake lever's missing, just little things. So if I can basically get it rideable for a bit longer distance, I can take it out, take it for a long run, find out exactly everything that's wrong with it. 
Um, there's other bits and pieces, but we'll get this out of the rain now because it's about to start raining and um, go and have a bit closer look. So we had the delivery today. Um, bike's dried off now. Finished cleaning it yesterday, or getting it sort of basically cleaned. So, Emma, piss off. Gonna um, pull that uh, buggered gear lever off and clean up the spline from the shaft coming out of the motor, um, out of the gearbox. If the um, spline's too rounded off, we can replace it. It's only a cheap part. I think it's less than $20. Um, but I'm just going to try my best to um, keep what we've got there. So, as we can see here, here's the old gear lever pulled off. Here's the new one. Quite a difference. So I just need to clean up this spline here as best I can. Um, it is worn down quite considerably. But hopefully the new lever will just um, clamp onto it. Um, to clean it up, earlier I went to my um, favourite grocery store and they had these sitting there on the table. I didn't even intend on buying these, but I'm planning what's going to happen. So I'll probably use this file here. It's a nice little triangle one. Just get into each one of those splines on the shaft there and clean them right out so I just get the best chance possible for this pedal to grip on it. So I might even start off with a screwdriver just to scrape this crap out of it and then come along and each one of the little splines just, you know, finish cleaning it out. I don't want to take much material away, but just um, pronounce what's still there. So, that's about as good as you could hope for, I guess. <laughs> no, um, it's not perfect. And every time you go to even clean up the teeth a bit more, you're losing more material for the new um, pedal to grip onto, I guess. Um, so I'm going to leave it alone from now on and just hope that the new one can grip onto it. Worst case, I am get a new selector shaft and strip it down and put, put that through it. I'm hoping I don't have to. Um, at this point, in case you haven't guessed already, I know, don't know that much about motorcycles. I like to um, sort of ride them around off-road though, so since I've bought it. So I'm going to attempt to um, fit this new gear lever now and um, clamp it down. Not one, it's the other. Can I work in peace? Hey, hey, work in peace. You know what that is? And here's your dad. And now your mum's getting in on it. I grew off. Hey. So um, we got the uh, gear lever clamped down nicely. Um, we'll have to adjust it a little bit. I've just taken it for a quick spin around the backyard and find that this one is just sitting a little bit higher, higher than I'd like anyway. So I can pull that back off and just adjust it down some. Um, so we've got quite a few other issues. I'll quickly run through those and um, fit up the uh, brake lever that turned up in the mail today. So um, we'll just start from the front. So front tires cactus. Um, I've ridden on it a couple of times. You know, it, it leaks air too. It's obviously been flat for a while before I bought it because um, there's your sort of rim protector from the spokes. Um, I believe the front forks have lost some of their oil, if not all of it. Um, headlight globe is missing. Headlight globe is blown as well. So um, that's another issue in its own. Um, got the globes coming. Still got to sort out the rectifier. Indicators don't work. Actually, no electricals apart from the horn and the ignition work. So I've um, got to sort those out. I've got the mirrors. That's no issue. Um, got our brake lever. About to put that on now. I accidentally ordered a um, pin for the brake lever. Didn't realise this was still sitting in there. So anyway, it's $13 down the toilet. But if I buy another one, I guess what I've got spare parts. So it's not really a problem. Make sure it is the right pivot bolt too. You know, some farmers, when they pull stuff apart, and I don't blame them, just happen to put in whatever fits in the hole. Yeah, that's the correct bolt. Okay, 
we're all sweet there. Um, so that come around this side. I've got some shifty shoes when I took it for a ride. Um, when I first got it before the gear lever really let go. Um, I was having a couple of false neutrals and no fourth gear. So I believe there's a little shift stopper. Well, there is a little shift stopper in there. Um, and the little arm has got a roller bearing on the end. They have a habit of getting damaged and or not working properly. So pretty cheap fix, but have got to take a fair bit of stuff apart. Um, what else on this side? Not a lot going on here. Need a new battery. Um, back lights are pretty much non-existent. I've got the, the tail light came with it. Um, these are on order. Need a new exhaust, but I'm just going to um, patch this one up for now. So back wheel bearings. I've had it. Um, another cheap fix, but just a little bit time consuming and fiddly to pull apart. So that'll be another video. And also at the same time, the little rubber cushion drives that go between the um, rim and the sprocket have worn enough that, well, the sprocket's still held on by, there's a snap ring on there. There's a, uh, they've, the little cush drive rubbers have um, shrunk and worn down enough that you've got this slop here that's not good. Um, the sprockets themselves look all right. So I'm happy with that. And otherwise, just a really good service. I've got a mud flap coming, the correct mud flap, rather than whatever you call that. A bit of conveyor belt, I think, and some fencing wire. All right, I'll go and get some help and um, get the brake lever out, and we'll fit that up. The brake lever here. Um, part number, if anyone cares. Righto. Aftermarket. It feels very, very Chinesey. Anyway, nothing against that. Um, put the pivot bolt in the pocket, I suppose, so we don't lose it. So what we need to do is get this cable to come out far enough that we can hook the um, brake onto, I guess. So how's that going to work? Get it out far enough. So I'll come down here to the um, brake itself. I'll just push it up, and as we can see up here now. Our um, cable's popped out a bit, so we can get it on. Thread it through that little groove there. And there we have it. Now we get our pivot bolt. Pull it. Hopefully that thread it on. Now, I don't know if our brakes are adjusted or not. Not really. Not to worry. Um, you can, you've got adjustment for the cable here. Um, and I've got lots of adjustment there. And I've got some adjustment here. So I'm going to work it at the top. There's more adjustment at the top. So we'll just pause for a second while I grab some pliers so I can loosen these bolts off. Yep, definitely. And we'll back them out. I've just used the pliers to loosen this off. And you should be able to get some adjustment out of here. Just want to be able to feel some, feel some sort of brake action. We're starting to get a little bit there. So we might um, pause here and we'll go down the bottom now. I just don't want to have one adjustment maxed all the way out. Also might have to put a bit of lube on the cable. It's probably sat around for a very long time, but they're not returning as good as they maybe could. So uh, I'll go and adjust at the bottom now, and um, we'll come back once I've done that and see how it is. We've adjusted this up now. Brakes will actually work. Uh, probably not adjusted perfectly, but anyway. Uh, I've also moved this um, gear lever, so go for another cold start. It doesn't usually take more than a couple of kicks to get it going. I'm just
sometimes it starts first go and then sometimes it's a bit piggy but anyhow not to worry when it goes it goes really well so that being said um just waiting on more parts to turn up at the moment probably get onto that front end next and then um there'll be at least three more videos the um front end the back end with the bearings and rubber dry fits and that electricals and then probably just a really good service and then maybe that um gear selector we'll see how we go so next up some chinesium rubbish we picked up yesterday but thanks for watching going up and down the road Going up and down the road. Oh wait, how am I filming? Going up and down the road. Going up and down the road. You going up and down the road. Hurry up, come back. Yep, he's coming. Okay. Okay, so come on. <laughs> 